So Sunday night football, you had the Broncos and Cowboys. Uh, the Bronco, not Broncos, Buccaneers. I'm sorry, Buccaneers and Cowboys. The Buccaneers won nineteen to three. Dak Prescott, I think, hurt his hand. I don't think he hurt his thumb. He'll be out now. They were originally saying like ten weeks. Now I'm hearing say maybe four or five, maybe three. I don't know. That doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter to me because what I saw, what we saw on Sunday was exact was one of the biggest reasons why I said that the Cowboys are going to struggle mightily this year. Even with Cooper uh, Cooper Rush, even with Brett Dak Prescott. Let's get this, let's get this out, out now. CeeDee Lamb is a number one receiver. CeeDee Lamb is good enough to be a number one receiver. Now, I know that it's almost insane to say when the man recorded, give me a second, he had, I think he had like 11 targets. I think he had like two catches, even though he had like 11 targets. CeeDee Lamb is a... A number one receiver. The problem is, and I think you're going to see this a lot with what team? You're going to see this a lot with Seattle. DK Metcalf is a number one receiver. The problem is when your number two, three, and four are horrible. Noah Brown who is just another person, is your second, until Michael Gallup comes back, is your second top, is your second option at the receiver core. And honestly, how good really is Michael Gallup? Especially coming off an ACL. When, you're num- when you have a good number one, which C.D. Lamb is, but you do not have a good two, three, and four, the defense doesn't have to worry about them. They're just going to focus on you, which they did. Now, yes, there were a couple balls that he should have caught. But C.D. Lamb was getting double and triple teamed the entire night. And still, still, the Cowboys couldn't do nothing with it. Ezekiel Elliott looked good till he didn't. Tony Pollard, I wondered why Tony Pollard didn't play as much as Zeke. I see now because he can't block to save his life. And it's not the fact that he can't block because he's like small. He doesn't even know like blocking assignments. All off season we were talking, we, we were talking about Jerry Jones and we were saying why he's not improving this team. Why it felt like the team was getting worse when we talk about the offensive line, which, by the way, I think an offensive lineman got hurt in the game as well. You weren't improving the offensive line. You weren't improving. You, you weren't improving the receiver core. I mean, Julio Jones was out there. Clearly, Devonte Adams was out there. You did nothing. You lose Amari Cooper. Not lose. You pretty you trade away Amari Cooper for nothing. This Cowboys team is not good. The defense didn't look good. Now, yeah, you're going against the Bucks and 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 Tom Brady, but Tom, but they didn't look good either, really. The, the only the only unit that looked really good was the defense. And Julio Jones look. I'm not gonna say he's back to Julio Jones, but he looks ten times better than he looked. In Tennessee. So all I'm saying is, man, it's going to be a long season for the Cowboys, man. If they don't turn around and quickly, it's going to be a long season. Now, it's to me, that's not an overreaction because this is what people have been saying this whole offseason. Every time you saw a move that the Cowboys did or did not make, we were like, hey, why don't, why don't you go get Bobby Wagner? Why don't you go get Von Miller? Why don't you go get a Julio Jones? Why don't you go get Devontae Adams? Why don't you go? Why don't you try to go get Tyreek Hill? 
They didn't make any move. Why didn't you try to go get Valdez Scantley? Why didn't you try to go get Juju Smith Schuster? Help somebody better than Noah Brown. It's going to be a long season for the Cowboys, man. And I'm not just saying that as a Commanders fan. It's going to be a long season for the Commanders, too. But I hope Dak Prescott gets back. I think that it's going to be a longer season if Dak Prescott is not your quarterback. But and Dak Prescott didn't have the best game either, even when he was healthy. It, it just wasn't a good game for the Cowboys, but it's going to be a long season. 